Hey, what's up with it guys? Hey, welcome back to another video here. So this is going to be uh, another live uh, kind of gameplay commentary PvP battleground uh, type situation. Um, we are playing survival. I feel like I've given a good amount of love to Marksman Spec uh, the last week or so with just videos and content and stuff in general. So um, I figured it would be time to go ahead and do a uh, survival hunter video here so um nothing too crazy as far as my build all my stuff is pretty standard pretty straightforward um i'm trying to think if there's anything even worth mentioning not, not nothing i can think of um i do get this question i would say relatively often regarding pets um if you're running pets so Obviously, for like BM and survival, you're gonna have a pet. But if you are gonna run a pet on marksman, I would um, suggest definitely running hyena. I run with a hyena or raptor 100% of the time. The only thing that I would say you would run instead of this is possibly a purge pet, um, like a pet that has a dispel. Do my oh no, it's sometimes the, the hunter pets like bug out coming off that little cliff thing right there as you jump out the room. I've had it like bug out a bunch. Um, but yeah, I definitely love running the Hyena Raptor for the, the main thing you want it for is the um, Master's Call. But then the passive move speed is also really nice too. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and jump on the Shaman here. I'm going to kick that. Murder of Crows. I'm going to pop. I'm going to stun him here. How do you like insta-heal? You get life swap. Well, I wasted my kick there. So this is a good situation right there. I was able to master's call. I'm going to go ahead and spam my kill commands. Try and get my focus back up so I can start my mongoose bite window again. I'm going to go ahead and bomb before that so I can get three stacks of the bleed on him. One kill command. I'm going to kick this. We're going to be able to get him here. Nice. Make sure you disengage. And then let's go on this pally. Nice pally bubbled. Drop a tar trap there just to slow when he comes out, but it's useless. Bubbles off. I'm going to double bomb. I have full focus, so I don't need to open with a kill command. I'm going to go ahead and just do raptor strike or mongoose bite. Nice. And we're good. Jump on this guy. Uh, I can disengage out to get out of that route. I didn't want to waste. I didn't have master's call up there, but in that situation, I wouldn't want to waste the 45 second cooldown because I might need it like if we get in another little scuffle over here. So you can make sure you're, you're aware, like entangling roots, um, uh, snare like from frost mages, um, all that stuff. You can use your disengage to dispel it. It obviously is going to move you, so you don't want to necessarily dispel like away from the target per se, because like you don't want to just be giving them basically like a free. Oh, that's cap totem, dude. I was pretty far from that that's i'm gonna jump on this mage he's just casting greater pyros okay and the guy just cleansed all my dots off solid same thing here i'm like right next to him so i don't necessarily want want to waste the i don't need to use the freedom as a gap close per se come on pet get on him this could be a little this could be a little tough but i think we can do it I'm going to go ahead and kick this. I can mending my bandage myself here. I'm going to trap one of them. Oh no! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> That was literally, that was literally five on, five on one. <laughs> At least we got a couple of them there. Ideally, I don't think I would have been able to pull it off, but you can do this trick. It's really tough with, especially with your pet, it's really hard, but you can actually feign. I wouldn't have been able to do it there because the deep wounds would have knocked me out. I looked to try to see if I could maybe pull it off, but you can feign death and depending on if you've called your pet back to like passive um, you can end up 
uh, camouflaging, like right out of your feign death. Okay, so we're going to jump on this guy here. There is the mage that's casting. I'm going to go ahead and actually use my burst. Let's see if maybe we can get a kill on the uh, shaman here. I'm going to refresh my, my poison. Oh, my pet's... Where's my pet? It's right there. Kick this. I do have freedom up. I don't want to use it here because if he's going to CC me, that's okay for right now. I'm actually going to just swap onto this guy. Ouch, dude. What the hell? What a hellstone. Get out of here with that greater pyro to the face. I'm going to kill him with that. Damn, dude. No heals. Not getting any love. But we're doing good. We're doing we're doing decent damage too. There's a warrior that's kind of neck and neck with us. He's pulling ahead now though that we're dead. But but yeah. I haven't played survival in a couple weeks, so I definitely am feeling a little bit rusty. I played it in some arenas. I think I was streaming like a few days ago. And I played it in a handful of arenas, but aside from that, I haven't played it for literally like two weeks. I don't think I've just been playing. I've been having fun playing marksman, so I've just been only playing marksman. But um, I'm definitely, I definitely am a little bit rusty. But uh, but it's fun. I, I really, I really enjoy survival a lot. I'm curious to see how survival is because I know that they're making some changes. Um, in 8.1 with a couple new Azerite traits, I believe. So I'm curious to see how it plays out as far as like different builds and stuff. Also, I'd like to take a quick second here just to admire the transmog. We're going with the OG tier. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. The OG tier one. Jesus, dude, that kind of dropped. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Murder of Crows here. And I am going to pop Coordinated Assault. See if we can just get a couple... There we go, get a kill on him. And I'm actually gonna swap out of the priest. I'm gonna trinket this. I'm gonna use my bomb to refresh the uh, poison there rather than waste the cooldown or the focus on the actual poison. Okay. Nice. This is this a prop pally? It is a prop pally. So here I'm actually just going to spam kill commands to get my focus back up because I'm gonna fa I feigned basically to kick that because I have everything up to actually kick him. Oh, he, he stopped casting there. I'm going to pet stun. Oh, okay. Nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. We pretty much dominated that game. That wasn't a super close game, but... It's pretty fun. Let's look at the, uh, the way my damage broke down here. I had 24% of my damage was Serpent Sting. We had 20% Mongoose Bite. Some Melee. And then I had 11.7% of my damage was Bite. So one thing I do want to point out is I'm running two of the Azerite traits called Venomous Fangs. So um, I personally really, really like it. It's, it's even stronger in arenas, um, in my opinion, because your pet a lot of times has a huge uptime on the target and your main priority is keeping Serpent Sting up. Um, so you actually get a lot of value from that trait um, and it makes your bites hit harder. So I have bite macroed into um, like my mongoose bite and I think I have it on serpent sting, a couple things. So I'm basically constantly ensuring that my, my pet's bite ability is on cooldown. Um, but it's really strong. And then the other one I'm running is wilderness survival, also very strong. Um, and then here's my build and all that good stuff. Um, if you guys uh, do want to uh, join me on my stream, Please uh, go and follow down, or I guess it's over here, down to the left, um, over on Twitch. I'm going to uh, not be streaming on YouTube anymore because it keeps getting messed up anytime I play music, and I don't like streaming in silence. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.